good evening everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today's video is uh, all about the recruitment of texas instrument for a full time job so in this video i am going to uh, tell you about my uh, experience regarding written test of texas instrument and their inter interview and as well as their eligibility uh, what is the eligibility criteria uh, for a btech or mtech people and what is the uh, shortlisting criteria for them so all those things i am going to explain you i am going to share my experience basically about this okay uh, so for in my college uh, it, uh, texas instrument uh, came for a full time for two profiles uh, one is analog and engineer and second is digital engineer okay and for eligibility criteria in this uh, btech ec and triple e branch was eligible and mtech ec and triple e branch was eligible of all specializations and uh, amtech process control was also eligible in this uh, recruitment process for texas instrument okay and uh, the cgpa cutoff they have written is as 7 7 cgpa cutoff is the minimum cutoff to sit in the placement uh, for this uh, company and there should be no active backlog okay so this was the eligibility criteria so now we will talk about uh, shortlisting process uh, the uh, first of all uh, there was that you have to fill one google form for the company so in that you have to upload your resume so initial process is the resume shortlisting and then there will be online test okay after resume shortlisting only some people got selected for given the online test so uh, then you have to give online test so uh, for all online test i am going to uh, share my experience that uh, what type of question has been asked okay so like this type of question uh, people have having that uh, which subject you should prepare for written test of texas instrument so that i am going to share about so these are the subjects that uh, you should prepare okay analog electronics digital electronics electric circuits or network control system and signal sense system okay whatever core subjects of uh, ec are there you have to prepare well uh, as well as and uh, what the suggestion i can give is like uh, prepare all the questions of gate from past uh, 13 to uh, 10 to 15 years okay all previous year gate questions on these subjects okay maybe one or two subjects they may give more about this they may give about the microprocessor also they can add so i'm just uh, sharing my experience right what for the major subjects that they have covered okay uh, so you have to solve all the gate previous year questions of, of 10 to 15 years of uh, both the branches of electronics and as well as of electrical and is possible also solve instrumentation also okay so these things you have to solve Uh, you will uh, like the level of uh, questions in the in the written test is almost similar to gate pattern uh, there will be not so much calculations but it totally depends upon the concepts whatever you have uh, studied okay so not so many questions were there if i could recall it was i think uh, 60 questions were there which you have to do in one hour 1.5 hour and in that 60 questions uh, 40 questions were there from technical and uh, maybe 40 or 45 and then the 10 to 15 questions were there from this aptitude section okay so these things are there so for technical subjects prepare well the gate level questions and what i can suggest is uh, it's better if you do some analysis part like in, like in network now you have a, a transient analysis steady state analysis so they will have they will ask more questions regarding that and uh, questions regarding uh, analog electronics like zener diode and all those things so like these things they will ask okay like the then you have ic subject also there na integrated circuit so some questions were there also from a current mirror and all so that was uh, the part of uh, analog electronics okay you have to prepare well for this now for the rest of the questions uh, for in uh, for if you if you want placement uh, in your college you have to prepare well this uh, below part aptitude and reasoning okay like time and work clock spheres distance and speed ratio and proportion so these are the most common topic which has been asked during placement process like simple interest component test and all they will they will have a good and the question level is almost good because you have to do it in less time so the level of questions are quite good so you have to prepare well for this aptitude section also this is also very important part okay for if you want to get a placement you have to clear the written test yeah so that is what a very important so these things are there so these things you have to prepare well i hope i shared okay technical part you have to go well in uh, analysis part la current mirror these things are there you have to prepare this well 
okay and then if you want uh, digital electronics that counterpart and then what is the mod value like that these questions you have to prepare well then circuits quite like transient and steady state analysis and then a basic two board network and from a control system like maybe body plot or asset no no like no no like the question will be like this uh, rise time shifting time body plot i don't think maybe they have asked some transfer function by giving body plot so this type of questions were there as the pattern uh, get this volume so same pattern of question you will see there also okay it's so not so much calculation all about conceptual concepts okay so these things are there like signal also signal system also like casual lamp quality system also they will ask like that okay so these questions were there and the yeah the questions related with the fourier fourier series coefficients now so this thing also they will ask okay so prepare well so these things are there and then then i will talk about uh, the interview of like what type of questions they have asked in the interview like first there was a resume sort listing and then there was online test and after that they will they conduct some interview okay for interview i think uh, very less people got shortlisted so i think i was one of them which uh, shortlisted after this two process okay so for this interview the please uh, one thing you have to keep in mind uh, while giving texas instrument interview is in this interview they will only see your approach correct answer is not required like this this the statement interview said me in the starting only that whatever is being going in your mind you have to share uh, you just like it's not mandatory that your answer has to be correct okay so these things are there and uh, like and i will tell you that that interviewer was so so patient like so bring a good gentleman he was very patiently asking the questions he just feel me comfortable during the interview it was almost i think uh, 70 to 80 minute interview was there almost more than one hour and it was very good interview overall okay that i have to say so this circuit he has asked this circuit he has drawn in the in his system okay so what do the, what they generally do is in the starting they will ask a very easy questions okay after that they will start asking you a uh, difficult difficult questions like not difficult questions but completely a uh, type of conceptual questions okay so this circuit he has drawn in his system and he was sharing the screen so he has he asked me like is uh, like will any current will flow in the circuit or not if no current will flow tell me why if yes then tell me why okay this was the first question so since circuit is not complete therefore uh, circuit is not complete therefore no current will flow in the circuit okay no current will flow okay so after that he asked me if i equal to 0 in the circuit then tell me what is the voltage drop across diode then what is the voltage drop across resistor then after that apply kvl whether it is uh, like it is it applicable or not okay i hope you got it after that like this question he was in between he was asking about a reverse saturation current in diode like basic of electronics portion he was asking about basic definitions okay like what is reverse saturation current what is forward conduction what is reverse conduction like these things he was asking in the between the main main part was this okay so in this circuit what is the voltage drop across diode and resistor after that what he has done is he removed this branch he removed this branch okay i hope this branch is visible this branch he removed okay this branch he removed he connected like this like this okay he connected like this now will the current will flow in the circuit or not the answer is yes then same question he is asked like uh, what is the voltage drop across diode and what is the voltage drop across resistor then uh, if a diode is not ideal then what is the expression of current in the circuit okay so like that you have to tell so this type of questions he has asked okay completely conceptual based question so like that uh, he was asking the the the, the time when you get a bit confused is uh, when diode conducts its voltage drop is 0.7 uh, so in that case uh, since the circuit is not complete so no current will be flowing so like that he was asking some questions okay it was very difficult to remember exact but this was the complete circuit okay and the voltage drop was asked as well as the uh, like suppose uh, diode is non ideal then you have to uh, tell him the expression for current okay so this type of question he has asked okay it's very difficult to remember all the questions whatever he has asked so this was the circuit and th this was the some uh, set of questions okay now in second circuit he has drawn is this uh, like in te they will completely uh, ask questions regarding rc circuit resistance and capacitance okay so this circuit he has drawn then he tell me 
that uh, derive the expression of VCT. VCT means what? Voltage across this capacitor. Okay. Voltage across this capacitor he has asked. The expression for VCT. Okay. You have to like he has given me the time. Okay. And you have to derive in front of himself. The expression of VCT you have to de de derive in front of himself and you have to show. So this is the way I am uh, uh, like uh, formatting the expression of VCT. Okay. Then uh, he asked me like uh, whether is it possible to charge the capacitor with the voltage VDC or not. If not, why? Okay. Whether it is possible that VCT become equal to VDC or not. Okay. Obviously, it's not possible because there will be some voltage drop across resistor. Okay. Now, next question he asked is like uh, if it is not possible, then tell me why it is not possible. Then I said, sir, because of this time constant. Like the, it, there will be some voltage drop across the resistor like that. So like that I told. Then he asked like what is the time constant? What is the definition of time constant? What is the time constant in this circuit? Then what is the significance of time constant? Okay. So these basic terms they will ask uh, regarding in between all. Okay. Then he asked me like what is the initial and final voltage across capacitor across this capacitor? Okay. Then its waveform they ask like what is the output voltage wave waveforms across capacitor? It's waveform. What is the waveform of a uh, VCT? Okay, this they have asked. I think in this question also, they asked me some uh, waveform. What is the waveform of a diode when it's conducting? No, not uh, across this resistor. Like that, they have asked some. Okay, some waveform related question. Maybe he added some uh, more element in the circuit and he start asking me, uh, what's the waveform? Okay, so these things he have asked in this question. In this I have a discussion. So output voltage waveform across capacitor he has asked. Okay, then he added some more capacitance across the circuit. Like this, he added some more capacitance, and then uh, he started asking like, uh, at what time both this capacitor will fully charge? Now, what is the effect of charging time previously and after this? So, like that questions they will ask. In the starting, they will ask a bit easy. After that, they start making a bit bit complex. So, your approach should be correct. Okay, like that, he added some more capacitance. Then again, one more capacitance he has added. Now he was asking that uh, will the charging of this cap the charging time of this capacitor will be increased or decreased? You have to tell. Okay, if it's decreased, then you have to you have to come up with the reason. It's not important that that reason is correct only, but you have to tell. Like that he, he told me. So these are the questions they have asked. So I hope uh, it will help you. So regarding RC circuit only, they have asked so many questions you know, about RC circuit and this uh, diode and resistors. Basic basic circuits only they will ask, but the level of questions will be quite good. Okay, so these things are there. And one more question they have asked. We'll just uh, tell you regarding signals mm -hmm. and system. Yeah, so regarding signals and systems, they, they have they have asked uh, one question that uh, like he was simply was the circuit this is y axis I'm just drawing it uh, like with my hand only this is x axis so what he did he just draw one circuit like this yeah it's, it's not a sinusoidal it's this it he just draw one random uh, diagram like this now and this is like a y axis or x axis like that you can sort like this the j omega axis and uh, that axis the real part and imaginary part so like that only you can think like this is imaginary axis, na? This is imaginary axis, and this is real axis. Okay, so some waveform he has drawn. Okay, now he start asking that uh, whether the Laplace transform and Fourier transform will exist this for the circuit or not. Which one will exist? Like both will exist, or only one will exist? Like that he started asking. Please note that it is it, it is not uh, like a symmetric diagram. It's it's neither a even signal neither a odd signal. It was just a simple uh, like casual thing he have drawn. Then he start asking me like what could be the Laplace like uh, whether it exists or not. Uh, so I I think I said that sir Fourier transform will exist. Then he start asking that uh, in this Fourier transform, uh, what uh, uh, what expression does it contain? Does it does it contain uh, that a naught part or not? Average part does it contain? Does it contain sine part? Does it uh, contain uh, cosine part? So a naught you have a naught he was I think more focusing whether the average value will be zero or not, whether it will contain sine term or uh, cos term, whether it will contain third like harmonic also if they have the third harmonic will be present in the circuit in the expression or not. 
okay so laplace transform will exist if it exists then what could be the expression so like that uh, he was asking so so this was the that's it uh, from this so this was the interview question they have asked uh, during the texas estimate after that uh, actually in my resume i have written that uh, either in the resume in my resume i have written about uh, that uh, i know digital digital electronics well so my my core interest was in digital electronics and analog electronics that i mentioned in my resume so he just studied about that and then he started more questions on uh, digital electronics regarding counter and all and then uh, he asked me like do you know the digital signal processing there is one subject in uh, electronics which is not in uh, the electrical uh, he was asked asked regarding the digital uh, uh, digital signal processing dsp so i said no sir i don't know the subjects so this subject also they are focusing uh, so these three subjects you have to prepare well that analog digital and this uh, digital signal processing okay so these things uh, they have asked so i hope it will help you so whenever you are preparing for this its interview or its written test okay so it's just my experience whatever i am sharing is completely true okay so these are the questions i hope them in next years maybe they they will add something they will remove something it's completely on them so this is this was my experience regarding texas instrument okay so hope you like my video so this is the reference uh, for that uh, texas instrument uh, image okay so hope you like this video and uh, in my next video i will be uploading my experience regarding uh, my interview experience my written experience regarding uh, some of the companies like rnt and tata power tata motor and intel also i given uh, inter uh, interview for internship that also i will be adding in my next videos so that uh, i am doing and i uh, already uploaded uh, regarding the resume making so i hope you if you see you like it so these things are there so if anybody is having any doubt uh, they can comment in the comment section okay so hope you like it uh, so only one suggestions i can give overall that uh, prepare the these subjects well as a gate level gate level question will be asked and for the interview process uh, do more analysis of the circuit they will more focus on analysis part of the circuit okay they will they will not bother about the correct answers they won't ask any formula okay so you just have to know what actually the meaning of a time constant they will just touch your basics basics questions like what is actual time constants mean like they have attained more capacitance then uh, what's the effect on the time constant similarly in the next interview he will add some more resistance then he will ask you now what is the value of uh, like uh, how the time constant will be affected uh, what is the how the vcd voltage across capacitor will be affected uh, by adding this resistance so these things he will ask in the next interview so make sure that you are very clear in your basics so that's it so these things are there hope its video is helpful for you so thank you and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you